everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm going to be dyeing this which will eventually be some hand spun uh, yarn. This is a new to me fibre, you can see it's quite hairy, it's very 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 soft, is milk protein. I've absolutely no idea about anything to do with the process, how this went from milk to this fibre, but it, I'm very excited to dye this. It's um, so, so soft and it's it's quite fluffy, but it doesn't seem to be sticking to me like a lot of the other, uh, a lot of other fibers do. It seems to be spinning nicely. It's, it's drafting very easily. Uh, I'm, I am no way an expert spinner. I am still very much a newbie when it comes to spinning. I uh, kind of make it up as I go along. I don't really know what I'm doing. But uh, this oh, is so soft, this fiber. This is gonna, hopefully, if I don't screw up the spinning process, this will be really, really soft, lovely yarn. I've, uh, I've spun this into yarn. There's only about 12 grams here or so. Uh, it's it's quite hairy and it did break very easily like you can see this the end I'm just pulling it apart because it's just it's just coming away uh, so I'm gonna have to be very very careful with this when I go to dye it now the, di the dye I'm going to use today is a solution of mermaid's dream which is a fiber reactive dye from Dharma uh, I've been using this in another project and had this left over because it's a fiber reactive dye i can't just put the jar put the lid on the jar and use it another day because um the fiber reactive dyes do start to react and uh, they lose their i don't know the technical term you can't really use that you can't keep a stock solution with these you've got to use them otherwise they just become useless the the oops, the dyes react and uh, yeah and it's useless Sorry, my brain is really muddled today. Um, so this plant, this uh, milk protein has been sitting in vinegar and water for probably close to a month now because um, we had half term, which was two weeks this year, and I've just been quite busy since the kids have gone back to school. So this is the... This is the first time I've really had a chance to dye and I've been making up for lost time. So I've been doing quite a few dye projects today and that's why I've got this um, mermaid's dream left over. And what I'm doing now is just very slowly dipping this in the dye. I don't know how this fibre like, reacts to... I don't know how it works. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to dip dye it or if it will just, I'll just do this and the dye not really take and it end up being uh, more a tonal than a dip dye. The water is warm, not, not boiling hot. And uh, there is vinegar in this water as well because I put the pre-soak water in here. I'm moving it around to make sure that the dye can access all of the yarn. There's only a tiny bit of yarn here. I haven't actually weighed it out. It's, it's not going to be more than about 15 grams, I think. So there possibly is far too much dye in here, which is not a, an issue. I just won't have a dip dyed. I'll have a tonal, and then I've got some other yarns on hand to uh, use if there is any extra dye. Yeah, that, that's a lot of dye in there. I don't think I'm going to get a dip dyed effect. But I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to keep at it. Just for a little bit longer. Hopefully it will start boiling. It's steaming, but it's not boiling yet. So hopefully that will happen soon. Now I know at least it's hot enough. This is going to be a while. I didn't measure out how much dye I originally put in there, but I think I used far too much. So I'm just going to 
all this all this equipment is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. I'm going to leave it like this and then I'm going to dip it in a little bit like that. Oops, or just dunk the whole thing in. <laughs> well, I'm going to try. I don't know how dip dyed this is going to be. But um it's fun. It's a fun little experiment with a fiber type that I have never used before. It doesn't have to be a perfect dip dye anyway. It's just fun. Now this has been sitting on the heat for a while. I haven't actually timed it. And you can see there is some sort of a dip dye effect. I've been adding a little bit more while I've been doing other projects. But if I just dunk it all in for a sec. If we look at the colour in there, there still is a lot of dye left in that water. So, and I'm, I'm happy with how this looks. Oh, my light's about to go. So what I'm going to do now is just take this out because I don't want to, yeah, you can certainly see there a difference in shade. I don't, I, I'm happy with this, you, you know, when, you, when you're doing dyeing like this, you don't have to just keep going and going until you've used up all the dye. You can just say, no, I'm happy with this, that's enough. I'm going to put this to the side, just for now, and then once it's cooled down, I'm going to wrap it up in a bit of cling film and steam set it. If we look at it like that, you can definitely tell the difference between the two ends, and I would like to preserve that which is why I'm stopping now and I'm going to steam set this. But I'm not going to use up the, I'm not going to waste the rest of this dye. Keep your eyes open for another video when I use this. This yarn has completely cooled down now. So let's wash it. I'm going to be very, very careful with this. Put that in here, be very careful. I don't want to felt this. This is, um, this is milk protein. And I, I don't really know how it's going to respond to agitation and heat and all that. It's, you know, it's not a superwash, so I'm going to treat it like I treat uh, non-superwash wool. So I'm just going to be very careful. Add a bit of um, washing up liquid. This water is cold tap water, and it's very cold because it's currently, currently November. <laughs> and uh, yeah, very, very cold water. But it doesn't look like there is any water, any dye coming out of this. Yeah, that's great. That's actually looking pretty good. So I'm just going to rinse this through, get all that soap out, get out all the vinegar, and then I can hang it up to dry. And here is the finished milk protein yarn. This was so much fun to dye. I loved it. And uh, it's, it's so soft and it's so I've got a bit of a shine to the yarn as well and I think it looks great. Now I did try to dip dye this. So if we put the two ends together, you can see that end is definitely lighter than that one. And I'm really glad I stopped when I did because otherwise I think the whole skein would have been closer to that color and I wanted sort of the, the gradient fade, the gradual fade. And I think I got that with this. So I'm really happy that I, that I stopped dipping it when I did and steam sets the yarn because I think it looks fantastic now. I'm so so happy with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed making it. I've loved playing about with this new to me fiber and I'm hoping to do some more of these videos in the future. Uh, what did you think? Let me know down in the comments. I publish a new video every Monday usually around about 6 p.m. UK time so make sure you've got notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching.